Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are back on the series Learn Service Now from Zero to Advance in ServiceNow. And in the previous part one of Service Catalog, we, we, we have seen how this catalogs look like. We have gone through all the details about catalog, how to create a variables in ServiceNow Service Catalog. And the part one was covered. Now we are going to cover the remaining part of the part one and then we'll go with the part two section. If I go further, these are already discussed. I will move a little fast over here. And these are the use cases. Okay. So on our service now instance, we have already created these three choices. Reader name, reader address, select the comic, select the age, language and enter the phone number. These three choices are yet to be created on our portal. That is the website of service now. So how we can go ahead and create it? So we'll go to service now. And first of all, we'll type here maintain item. Yeah, and this is my catalog item 90s comic series. Hit open. Okay, come down. And these are three variables which we have created. Correct. Select the comic reader address and reader name in the order 1020 0 1020. If I right click and duplicate it and if I go to the website of service now, which is service portal. Yeah, and let me see how this catalog look like in the front end of service. Now, you will notice this look really good, very beautiful. Go to the comic store. And yeah, this is my comic series. Come down. We have all this comic listed over here. Chacha Chaudhary, Spider-Man, Batman, Mickey. Now, here I will create three other choices. But this time we will create with the help of variable set. The variable you understood, what is variable? Variable set is something that you can combine or you can have multiple variables in a single set. Let's say I can make these three variables in a single set. That is called the variable set. So if I go to variable set, you can click on new button to create a variable set. And there's an edit button. You can use someone else's variable set also over here. It means that we can reuse our variable set in any of the catalog items. So variable set is also used for reusability. Let's say you have a catalog item where you want five variables always there. For example, requested for uh, first name, last name, user ID. These four variables you need always. In this case, guys, you can go ahead and create a new variable set and you can use your variable set on your catalog item or any other catalog item. If I click on edit, you will notice there are a list of available variable set. See it. These are the list of variable set available. If I can use it over here, it will be applied to my catalog item as well. But in this case, I will create my own variable set. And let me go ahead and click on new. Yeah. And let's say we have two types of variable set. One is single row variable set. Another is multi row variable set. Multi row variable set means you can have multiple variables inside a placeholder. And single row variable set, you have a variable 1, variable 2, variable 3, variable 4. Whatever you want to choose, you can choose. So first of all, I am going to choose with a multi-row variable set. If I click here, see a title is coming up. So let's put additional details. Okay. You will notice internal name will be automatically coming. Right click and save it. Order is 100. And remember, whatever the order you have put on the 90 comic series variables, remember you have to choose a different order. So here we have already having order 10, 20, 30, and it is 100. It means that first these three variables will be displayed, then 100 variable, order 100 will be displayed. With the additional details, I will create a variable. Click on new, and this is same as whatever we have done on the variable part. So there is no difference. You can see there are five sections over here in the Tokyo version. In the Utah version, there will be a six version available. Now the question is, let's go back, select the age. So I will type here, select the age. Yeah. And this is choice. Again, I will choose a choice, multiple choice. Okay. And I will make it mandatory. And let's say order is 10. And I'm making it save. Okay. I click and save. So I'm including none. 
So we have mentioned this details in the previous session that what how to uh, create a multiple choice, how to create a select box. So if you have not watched that video, you can go ahead and watch the catalog part one series. Fine. Now we have to create a multiple choice. If you choose a choice, there's a choice option coming up over here. Text. Uh, below, below six years, or let's say between this six years till ten years. Okay, the value you can put. This all we have already done. Now we have uh ten years till fifteen years. And uh, next is 15 years till 18 years plus 3. And the last is your 18 plus. Okay, these are the four choices, multiple choices I have created on the option called select your age. A user can select the age. And it's which sequence you wanted to see, you can change the sequence as per your requirement. So it is 100, let's make it 200. Make it 300. 300. Let's make it 400. Okay, now these four choices is created. Let's go back to the front end and see how it looked like. I'll refresh the page. And here you will notice, come down. You have additional details, that is your variable set, multi row variable set. Click on add and you will see you have this option, let's say 60 to 10 years. If you select, it will be added over here like this. Inside that, if you create another variable, that will be listed over here. So I'm going to create another variable, the variable name is language. Okay, so let me type here order number 20, question, shows, the language okay and this time I'm using select box right click insert and stay so this is gonna create an insert and stay option over there now select box you know that you will get list get a list of choices available where you can create a choice so let's say there are only two choices english and hindi fine english hindi let's say order is 200 very simple guys now if you refresh the page here also you will see the option called Select your language. This is called multi row variable set. You can add multiple set in a single, multi variable in a single set. Like we have these three options separately. You can add this option together in a single set. That is under additional details. This is my variable set name. The last option is enter your phone number. I'm going to create this type. I will choose a type called numeric scale. Or let's put single line text. Okay. And what I can do is over here, I will put enter your phone number and I will put a validation on that only number will be inserted so if I type here phone number let's change the order to 30 you will notice guys in the type and specification there's an option coming up called validation rejects it is out of the box reject expression they will check they will validate based on the number email see what are the options email IP address number so if you are not inserting a number then it will give you an error that not a number something like that so i will using this right click insert and stay yeah done so these variables are added on our catalog item these four five variables are added on my catalog item so my work is done my variable is created and i can submit a request now so let's submit a request first of all i'll i'll close this particular page so let me type here system admin. Enter your address. Let's put here Bangalore. 
and I am choosing a comic called Chacha Chaudhary and I will go to this particular I'll type here 18 plus choose language English enter phone number if I type the string see what will happen not a number we have to put a number and just add it you can add a validation also by using a script part but as I promise you will not type or write any kind of a script now see it is added now if you click on order now guys remember this is the most important point which I am going to tell you when you try to submit your catalog item when you try to order any product from a catalog item what will happen see you can't Notepad. I'll explain you using Notepad. So, yeah. So when you create any catalog item, guys, always remember a request will get created first. Okay. Always remember this. Start with R E Q. Then inside the request, it will create a R I T M that is called your requested item and what is this requested item basically guys if you remember when you order any product you will be getting a order id or order number or a transaction id that is called your request but if you open that order id you will get a list of product details that is called your requested item and at the end what it will have it will have a task or you can mention as catalog task what is this task this task is for the delivery team or Amazon delivery boy or Amazon procurement team or Flipkart procurement team. So small, small task will be assigned to all those members, all those members who is being involved in this particular workflow. So remember, request will be get created first. So it is something like this REQ request. Then we have RITM and then we have task SC task SC means service catalog. And now this is a direct ask interview question. This is the direct ask CSA exam question, admin exam question. I will show you right away. So guys, you can go to this particular website called Churcher Tech. Churcher Tech. I'll paste this link in the description. You can go ahead and check it. From here, we have this option called certification set to a come to this service now CSA certification. Okay, here you will get all the list of certification questions available. Let me type here control F and just type R E Q. Okay. I'll press enter. See in service catalog, when a user orders several items, following records are created and you have multiple options correct. So you have request, then RITM, then task. So these three options are correct. If you mark anyone as incorrect, then you will get zero marks in your examination. So see, when you order a service catalog, click on order now button, what's get created? Request, then RITM, then task. Remember this guys, is the most important part. So if I go back, if I click on order now, and if I check out, what's gets created? So it will create a request starting with a word called REQ. See, request is get created. Now inside the request, what will have? RITM, see this is my order ID for example, if I click on the order, order ID, what I will get? Requested item. Inside the requested item, what will have? We'll have the task. These are the list of tasks available. Now remember, this is always gonna follow a workflow, which we are going to discuss right now. So what's gets created for request, then RITM, then task. So if I copy this number, and if I go back and type here RITM on the global search, you will notice the RITM will get created over here in the back end and you will notice everything is here. 90s comic, request, requested for system admin, due date, all the details are available. See, come down, see, and inside that we have a task. So this is a table which is the most important table. The table name is requested item, which is nothing but SC request item. Service catalog request item. On this table only workflow will get created or attached. I'll show that too, but remember, first a request will get created, then RITM, and then the task. So let's go back over here. Close this, close this. Now let's create a requirement. So let me go back to my catalog item service portal. 
and we have already having this catalog item now the question here is how to create a workflow and on which part workflow will be working so i am going to create a workflow so if if a uh, comic is batman for example then it will go for the approval of the manager of reader so for example if i am typing here my name system admin system admin okay now whoever the reader is it will go to the approval of their manager if the manager will approve it then it will go with go and create a task on the amazon team so this is by requirement so if i select batman then it will happen if i select anything else apart from batman then it will not go for approval it will go directly for the amazon catalog team they will procure the product and send it to you and once the product is delivered a uh, email will be sent to you this is my requirement so let me write it down this requirement in this ppt as well so here inside the workflow what we have to do is when user select batman comic it will go for the approval of users manager and then one task will get created for procurement team and another task for delivery team okay and trigger a notification once product is delivered this is my use case scenario in the real time use case scenario procurement team sorry i have to procurement men team okay when the product is getting delivered now how how i will create this particular workflow in service now so remember whatever the catalog we guys have created we have to replicate the details in the workflow so where workflow is existing come here and type here workflow workflow editor open the workflow editor here you can choose your or you can here you can create your workflow let me close this yeah and what is the workflow name the workflow name should be matching your catalog item as per the best practice you have to choose what workflow you wanted to create so i'll click on new workflow and i'll create my workflow these are the already existing workflow in my system even in your system also these sub workflows will be available so these are called sub workflows which you can use it in your service now so this my my, my workflow name is let's say comic store workflow okay and on which table the workflow is getting created and direct task question in interview a table on which workflow is getting created is your requested item which is nothing but type here r e q u e s t d requested item on this table only your workflow is getting created if you have any doubt feel free to ping me in the comment section i am going to help you out there now submit it once you submit it guys you will notice a canvas is open in front of your screen we have to draw something over here begin and end and begin is nothing but when you click on order now end is something when the product is getting delivered and this line is a connector line where this line will tell you which stages are moving so i will delete this line as of now you can just select this line and click on delete button from your keyboard and this end you can place somewhere below it and between these only we have to create our logic what logic we are going to create the requirement the requirement is when user select batman comic so convert your requirement into normal english or hindi whatever the language you are comfortable so if i go to this section code you will see list of activities are available over here what i have to choose first when user select batman comic it means that there is a condition if user select batman comic 
So do we have condition over here? Yes, we have condition. So convert your requirement into normal English and try to replicate the same in service now. Click on the condition part. Now here you go, you have list of conditions. So going forward guys, I will tell you what are the conditions, what are these uh, core activities is needed. So in this particular video, we will only see this, this particular code section, but wherever is needed, I am going to tell you very soon. So we have a if condition, we have a switch condition. If means, if user select Batman, will bring the if to the left. See, drag it and drop it. Once you drop it, it will ask you for some names. Let it load it and the condition. The name is based on comic selection. Now you have stage. What is stage means? So first of all, let's go to our ITM table. You will notice there's a word written called a stage. As we know that workflow is created on which table? Our ITM table, requested item. Stage means you might have seen the baby food. Stage 1 food, stage 2 food, stage 3 food means in the process. Where your workflow is existing. So over here, stage, if I click here, we have out of the box few stages available. Request approve, waiting for approval, fulfillment, delivery, request cancel and completed. So in this case, what I can do is I can ignore this stage as of now. And the next core activity, I will use the stage. Because here we don't need stage, we only need condition. What condition we want? We want if a user select comic Batman. So if a user select a variable, inside the variable, if they choose the option called Batman. So over here, what we can type? Variables. And why we are typing variable, guys? Variable is, cat variable is on the catalog item. But workflow is created on the RITM table. Then why the variable is displayed over here? So the answer is, go back to our ITM table, you will notice there is a section called variables. And inside that, you have this option called select the comic. So on our ITM table, if on the variable part, if the variable is select the comic, and the comic selected is Batman, for example, then it will go for approval. That's what you have to do it over here. So when the variable on my catalog item, select your item, my catalog item is 90, Comic on this catalog item, I will choose my variable called selector comic. And if it is Batman, that's it. Then I will move further. So variable on my comic and the variable name is selector comic is Batman. Then I will move further. Come down. We have an advanced section also where you can write a script. This part we will discuss in the scripting series. But as an admin, we don't need it. Click on submit and my work is done if condition is there. If user select Batman. Okay, so I will attach this arrow to this part. So if a user click on order now, it will go to if condition, it will check the condition. If it is Batman selected, if Batman is selected, then it will move further. If Batman is not selected, obviously some other comic is selected. So it will do something else. So if Batman is selected, it will go for approval. Convert the requirement into English. Now we have approval part. Now what approval you want? User, group, a coordinator, manual approval. So what approval we need basically? Basically we can use any of these approvals which we require. But as per my scenario, I need a user to approve the request. And that user should be the user's manager. So in this case, I will use approval user. I will drag to the left. And same thing, this workflow is created on the RITM table. And let me put a name called uh, uh, Managers Approval. Now here I will use a stage. Basically, it, the stage will be waiting for approval. So we are waiting for Managers Approval. If Managers approve it, then only it will move to the next stage. When to run. This condition we have already selected at the back. So we'll ignore this condition. Come down. We have this section called Approval. If the approval part we will choose the user, we will choose the group. We can use a group also. In the group part, you will only have a group. But in user, we have user and group. So if I click on this lock button, we can mention any username. For example, able tutor. And he will be the approval. Lock it, he will be the approval. But here the question arises, I want users manager. Means, if I go to the user table, this underscore user dot list. 
If I go to the user table, um, yeah. Sys underscore user dot capital list. Over here, you will notice we don't have the manager field. Let's bring the manager field with this gear icon. We have manager. Yes, we have manager. Let's bring the manager near name. So whoever the user is, it will trigger that to the dedicated manager. So in this case, let me put admin and the manager is empty. Let's, let's put it uh, Abraham Lincoln. So he is my manager, for example. So if I am going to order the product, it will go to my manager's permission. How we can do that? Go to, back to the workflow. If you click on this, it will add you. I don't want this. If you type here any name, then that is called hard coding. This is called hard coding. I don't want this also. And how I will select it? We have this option called select field. So basically, this is coming from the user table. See, if I click here, where I am going, the reference field, we are going to the user table. If I click here on user table, do we have manager field? Yes, we have manager field. Nothing you have to do. You just have to click this. And we are on the user table. Come down from the requested for. We are on the RITM first because WordPress is created on the RITM table. Now, if I click on the requested for, it will take me to the user table. And user table, we have a manager. I'm repeating again. Let's go back. If I click on this, it will take me to the requested item table because this particular workflow is on the RITM table. If I go back and if I show you the RITM table, we have a requested for written over here. And I want my manager. So what, whoever the manager it is inside the requested for, his name will be coming up over here. I'm going to the requested for dot manager. So I'm doing a dot working. So here's a concept called dot working. Dot working means you can go to the reference field field. If a table is a reference, currently see if I click here, this table is a reference. Okay. Now I want this person's manager, how I can go inside it. So there's a concept called dot working. So requested for dot manager. If you go to the workflow data, click on this. So we are going to the requested for who is requesting the catalog item. If I go inside it, now we are inside the user table where I can select the look manager. This is what it is showing you. Lock it. Requested for dot manager. And this concept is called dot working. So dot working is basically used to fetch the details from the reference field table. It's only for the reference field. Remember this. So whoever is requesting the product is manager. He will still go for the approval. If you want group, you can put a group name. So I'm not want a group name over here. If you click on advanced section, the script section will be available. Now, here we have two things very important. Condition, if you have more than one user to approve it, anyone can approve it. You have to select anyone to approve. If you want everyone to approve, then you have this option called everyone to approve. And do you want condition based on a script? You can choose the option called a script. So in this case, I've been selecting anyone to approve. Same, it goes for the rejection, anyone to reject or reject for all. Okay. And these two things are columns present on the RITM table. So you can ignore this as of now. I'll come back to this. Come down. You have a schedule option, but we have already chosen the schedule during the first phase. Means when we go to this preference, okay, go to the display and what time zone we have selected GMT. So the schedule is based on the time zone which you, you have selected or you can go ahead and select your time zone. It's all up to you. In my case, I have already selected GFT time zone. So it will be GFT only. Nothing else. Just save it. And you will notice. <coughs> if a comic is selected as Batman, it will go for approval. If it is approved, then it will go for the task. If it is not approved, then it will go and end. So this flow which we are creating is called a workflow. Okay. So let's create a task from here. So do we have any task activity? Yes, we have a task activity over here. Click on the task. And what we have to choose catalog task. Catalog task means what task is going to be used by the different department. For example, after approval, it will go for the delivery team. So what I can choose, I can bring this task to the right, left. And here we can mention like uh, task for delivery team 
and the stage will be what fulfillment or delivery let's say i'm choosing delivery okay now what should be the priority of task you can decide by choosing the priority let's say it is high priority it has to be delivered within so and so date so that is called the priority part what group is going to deliver it so there will be a delivery group or procurement group or x group or y group who is going to deliver it you can choose that particular group so this is comic group if there is no comic group then you can choose any group available from this section so i'm choosing admin team will deliver this product and you can assign this to any team and the sort description will mention pick the product so this instruction or sort description which i am giving it it will be for the admin team members pick the product and deliver it to the address mentioned on the form, catalog form okay in the instruction you are having like leave this particular product on my doorstep or leave it to my neighborhood you can put you can fill that during the uh, submission of form i'll show you that too so while clicking on order now we'll have that option to give additional details there we can put it so instruction again we have a schedule option we don't need advanced section if you click there the list of advanced section now we have the last option called add variables over here and what is this variables guys see on our itm table we have variable section created like this similarly you want the variable section to be created on catalog also you have to bring your variables to the right whatever the variable is available so what is my variable name the my variable name is uh i can bring to the right and what else we have we have a reader name reader address so here you have to select like this so i will not select i will give you a shortcut how to do that first of all let's submit it once you submit it guys it is giving you a catalog task like this if it is approved go to the task and end it okay once it is done copy this particular comic store workflow go back to your catalog item go back to your process engine and here remove this default so by default there is a execution plan running which we don't need we will define our own workflow and put comic store workflow yeah and just save it what you will notice when you come back over here click on the catalog task again come down as this catalog item is attached already with this particular so whatever the variable which we are having it will be attached to the catalog see automatically coming i'll bring that to the right that's it the other variables are not visible but now these four variables which we have created is very visible this is variable set and these are variables then update it so this is your catalog workflow which we have created very simple workflow which we have created now if it is not a comic if it's not a batman comic so i will directly go for the task first of all let me make it little down yeah task it will not go for approval okay if it is rejected let me end it directly and you can send a email also first of all let test this how it working so once everything is done guys click on this option on the top corner to validate now you will notice there is no warning no error so you can move forward but let's say i am not using this arrow so there is no arrow connected to the input and this output so i will get an error not error warning the workflow contain one activity without any output so obviously this is the input coming to the approval and from approval one activity is there which is not having the output so if you join this then you will get this option as zero warning as zero that's all let's see how it working once you done this click on this option workflow activity you can create a new workflow you can open the workflow you can copy the workflow and you can publish your workflow once you click on publish the workflow will be published and it can be used now but you cannot do any changes now for example i want to do some changes over here we cannot do everything will be grayed out see so there is a requirement to change it what we we have to do is we have to click here and we have to do a checkout so always remember in checkout stage only you will be allowed to do some changes if it is published you will not be allowed to do any changes so make sure that if the workflow is published 
you can go ahead and make this particular details as a checkout workflow checkout now my work is done i will refresh this first page yeah come down let's type my name system admin Twitter address Bangalore. I am choosing Batman. Additional details English add. Now I am not putting a validation on the nine digit number. I can put it in the upcoming classes. We will see that how to put the validation. Now it is added. Click on order now and here you can put an instruction. Delivery information you can give or a special instruction you can give. Like leave this. Uh, Leave this comic near my door step. Okay. And I am doing a checkout. What you will notice, what will get created first? Request. So I'll copy the request and see if you'll notice it is coming as a waiting for approval. I'll go to the front end and I will paste the request number over here. So this request has the details special instructions all the details available price ten dollars come down and this particular request has a requested item which is called ritm if i open this particular ritm you will notice system admin address bangalore select the comic i have selected batman and now come down one approval is there who is the approval my manager and who was my manager abraham lincoln you can see abraham lincoln and even what you can do is go back to ritm and click on this option called show workflow in this part, you can check where is your workflow stage moving. See, it come here, it's checked whether it is a Batman. Yes, it was Batman. It is currently running. If I approve it, it will create a task. If I reject it, it will end it and the flow right away. So this, whatever you see in the green part, it is currently running. Whatever you see in the blue part, it is currently finished. Okay. So, but the question will come like how you will know that you have to go like this spaced here so basically guys whenever when you create any catalog or when you ever whenever you order any item a log email will be sent to the owners of that catalog you will notice here if i go to email created date you can see abraham lincoln requested item approval request admin approved you can see these are the emails just now triggered all right if i open this particular email box Come down, you have this option called preview email. Check your email, what is there on the email. So click here to approve, click here to reject. So Abraham Lincoln has received an email to approve or reject it. Clear. So let me close this. We go back to our ITM. We have this option called Abraham Lincoln. So how we can approve it? We can right click. Here we can approve or reject it. If I approve it, what will happen? The workflow will push to the next stage. And it will go to the task directory. Let me show you refresh the page. It is approved, finished, and it is now on catalog task. Let's go back. Yeah, one catalog task is created, which is going to the admin team. Pick the product and deliver to the address mentioned. If I open this task, so here you will notice we have a priority two, which is high, which we have set on the workflow. Then we have this button called close task over here. Come down, we have this variable also, which we have added on the workflow. Now, if I click on close task, the task will be closed. If I click on close task, you will notice the close complete. And on this particular RITM, you will notice the stage will set to the delivery. You come down, you can talk with your end user over here. How? So let me show you. If I click this, come down, here I can mention, okay, sorry, here I can mention, I Please provide your full address. And you will notice here it is mentioned like additional comments, customer visible. If I click on post, this will be posted on the front end. You will notice over here, see, please provide the full address. So I'm providing the full address, let's say XYZ, comma, ABC, comma, one, two, three, four. By posting it in the back end also, this will be visible. So it is two way communication between the service portal and between this. RITM which we have created. So this is on the RITM side, this is on the portal side. If you need to attach the attachment and from here they can check what is who is going to approve it, who is when it's going to be delivered. All these details are available on this particular page. This is nothing but a summary page of your ticket. Okay.
And if you go back to the workflow, let me open the workflow. You will notice all the stages are fulfilled. You can see finished and it ended. It is also. So basically this particular catalog is associated with the workflow and according to workflow only your catalog will progress. So that's all on the today part. We'll see the part three of catalog very soon. And thanks for watching. I hope you have understand it. If you are very new to this channel, please subscribe it. That will help me to get motivated and bring such a beautiful content. Thank you so much. We'll meet in the next.